All right, we're all excited about the U.S. Open, and later today, Italian tennis player Matteo Berrettini will play at the U.S. Open, but it's what he's eating <laughs> off the court that's getting us very excited and very hungry. Berrettini <laughs> has been crediting his success at the U.S. Open to eating pasta at a restaurant in the East Village. Via della Pace. 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 Via della Pace. Tina's here to tell us all about well, it. Tina oh. loves this place. So during that men's quarterfinal, we were just watching the video there when Guillermo Fees was playing Matteo Bertini. Uh -huh. During the match, there was a couple of shots of an Italian man going absolutely crazy as the Italian Berrettini, you know, he just kept muscling through this nearly four hour match, especially during his five match points. So the broadcast and the cameras just loved this passionate fan in the stands. And there he is. <laughs> you could see his excitement, his <laughs> angst, I love cheering the on the bun, Berrettini, by, by the, the man way. bun, the right. sunglasses. So that is Giovanni Bartocci. He's sitting in Berrettini's box. They are friends, but there's a great backstory. It's actually based on what else? Italian food. Berrettini, as you mentioned, Rosanna and Laura, he's wow. crediting his success at the U.S. Open to eating pasta at Bartocci's East Village restaurant, Via Della Pace. And even after the match, Bartocci got a shout out during the encore interview with ESPN's Tom Rinaldi. <laughs> but there's somebody new in the box from Villa della Pace, the restaurant you've been going to in New York. That's Giovanni. Tell him to stand up. That's Giovanni. Who went through more in this match, you or him? I mean, him for sure. <laughs> no, I would like to say thanks to all my box. I don't know. They are 20. I don't know. Uh, not enough for sure. I have uh, my family at home. How will you spend this night? <laughs> Via della pace for sure. Grazie. <laughs> and sure enough, just as Matteo promised, he went to Via della pace to celebrate beating Monfils and becoming the first Italian men's tennis player to advance to the U.S. Open semifinal since 1977. The restaurant was packed because all his fans heard the announcement either inside Arthur Ashe Stadium or on television. There is Giovanni back behind the bar, waving his white towel just as he was during the match in Flushing Meadows. So what exactly is so special about this pasta Matteo has been eating to advance to play Rafael Nadal in the semis? And how did he start eating at this restaurant? Well, I went to Via della Pace yesterday to find out. On 7th Street, just off 2nd Avenue, this restaurant is more like a trattoria you would find right in Italy. Rustic, cozy, authentic to the warmth of the country. You'll find Giovanni behind the bar, his co-owner Marcos welcoming patrons, and Italian soccer on the television. Giovanni was born in Rome and has owned Via della Pace for the last seven years. Giovanni met Matteo two years ago through another Italian tennis player. Two weeks ago, before the U.S. Open started, Matteo stopped by Via della Pace right when he got to New York City. And Giovanni has been to all of his matches in Flushing Meadows as well. As soon as he arrived, they asked me a few tips for uh, restaurants, and I put some Italian restaurant in there, and he said, no, 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 for Italian food, I'm coming just to you. And um, so I gave him some sushi and other things. Since the tournament actually started, every time he can come over to have some pasta, some um, some salad. He loves the carbonara. Yeah, the carbonara before the tournament because it's a pretty heavy as a meal because he has egg, pancetta or guanciale and uh, parmesan and black pepper. That's the main thing to do a, a nice carbonara. Um, but he did it before the tournament, but since because he loved it, he loves it. And since the tournament start, he actually just switched to playing pasta. Can you believe that the television cameras love you during his matches? Why do you think? I was I was shocked. That's why <laughs> you, you probably saw me yesterday when they spoke on my name. I get very embarrassed and I hide myself because I felt there was more important people to thank than just me. I was just a cheerleader almost, you know, <laughs> and like his father, his trainers. There was the captain of the national team in Coppa Davis. Uh, there were so many important people. I was just a crazy guy.
it. You're such a... <laughs> well, you heard Giovanni talking about how Berrettini loves the carbonara. Well, it smelled so good, and I had a little taste. And I had to bring some back, Rosanna and Lori, to you guys. Rosanna, I know you're an expert in Italian dishes. I'm not an expert, but I love to eat. <laughs> you're a great cook. So here we have Giovanni Bartocci and Marco Ventura. They are the co-owners of Via Della Pace. And this is the carbonara dish that Matteo Berrettini has uh, ate well, for the first night. And then he eats it clean the rest of the time. It's good enough for him. It's got to be fair, do I will I will this make me a better tennis player? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> now I want to point out that Giovanni okay. has the t-shirt on Carbonara that he wears during the matches. Yes. Oh, so that's, that's a, it, right. Yeah. How did you become friends uh, with Bertin? Uh, with Mattel. Mattel came a couple of years ago. Uh-huh. And um, we were just coming to the restaurant yeah. and it was like Oh uh, my god, how was it? Mm. <laughs> Okay, that's what we like to hear. Yeah, so, that's that's like the, sound the, the is the best one. <laughs> <laughs> no one else can share. I know they're not giving it to any of us. Marco was in the back. Yeah, Marco was Marco was doing it. out of back. sight. It's so it's good. good. Mm -hmm. uh, you talk because mm -hmm. I want to take okay, it. Okay, so tell so me how you became friends. <laughs> Matteo came uh, a couple years ago, and mm -hmm. uh, this year went to Cheers all the Italian. And uh, when he, you know, I was there, I'm very emotional, very patient. You know, the mm -hmm. Italian, it's like that's the way we are. And uh, it was coming in the night, and uh, it was like, oh, you're gonna come tomorrow? I said, Mattel, for sure I will come. And then we start, and... Uh, and he I, always orders this. Um, this one, he ordered this one because it's very rich, very full. So good. So mm -hmm. he, this one, before the beginning of the tournament, he, he had the carbonara, mm -hmm. but since the tournament starts, he, he's, going, he, he's having always the salad and plain pasta. So just rigatoni mm. with mm -hmm. olive oil and uh, parmigiano. Clean. That's it. Sounds delicious. Now, is there like some kind of love triangle going on at your <laughs> yeah, restaurant? Yes, she, she likes to get right to it. I don't know. Like, it was on page six, <laughs> and then it's the not there anymore. Oh. Like, are there some players that are coming to your restaurant um, that are fooling around? Like three of them? I'm sorry, I don't speak English. Marco, what is the secret to success for you guys? Uh, probably the traditional food that we make is very Italian. Mm. We try to make uh, <clears throat> like a pretty tradi very traditional dish. And uh, probably Giovanni also is a very great character and a great partner no, to work with. He always brings we were people. Ready for there a lot of yeah. Italian pro athletes go to the restaurant. I mean, when Danilo Gallinari was drafted by the Knicks at 19 years I old, he that. made a little mm -hmm. home for himself at Via della Pace. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the, with Marco Bellinelli. Yeah, the, yeah. the secret is that one. I mean. Um, these kids, guys, you know, they, they already have so much stress, so much stuff. So when you come into the restaurant, we're just trying to make the film a home. Uh, nothing crazy, not fancy, just very homey, like a proper trattoria back in the days in Rome. Mm -hmm. With Italian music, uh, I shout, uh, I make them joke, I make them laugh. <laughs> you know, I just try to make them uh, switch off for a bit because, you know, it's... It's intense. Tennis mm -hmm. is a very demanding. It you know, is. Is your restaurant open how many days a week? 365 days a wow. year. Oh, really? 366 when is uh, the... <laughs> the <answer. laughs> Are you open lunch and dinner? dinner or just lunch and dinner. No, and uh, if sta people stay after, we stay open until Brunch late. too? We do brunch, we do everything. Oh my goodness. It's, it's, a, it's a party at night. Live music. Okay. The bar becomes... Really? Oh my. We're going to have to go check. We're going to come by. <laughs> still out into 7th Street often. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you so much. Saturday. And thank this you for the extra you. calories. Yeah, yeah. it's no, outstanding. No, no. Thank, thank you. It's just a little bit of the bar and uh, a little bit of movement and it's <laughs> done. We've got a champion runner coming up. I can see and my four <laughs> Olympic medalist, Jenny Simpson. We're going to find out if she eats this as well. <laughs> All right.